with the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Duan, and this is how the show works. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board for each topic, and we will present and possibly argue. Luckily for all of us, there's a mute button only to be used when one of us gets out of line. That's the only time, Marissa. Yeah, yeah, Lisa. Follow your own <laughs> advice. Dang oh. it. Listen, uh, shout out to chat, because we like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting true. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's start with our first story all about cheating and drama and Fortnite. One Fortnite player who is qualified for the Fortnite World Cup has been accused of cheating by his fellow players. Dubs FN, who is ranked second in the North American East qualifiers, allegedly had a conversation while using a different username with a cheat provider on Discord. No mention is made of the World Cup and the only proof of the cheating is through screenshots of the online conversation. Dubs FN denies that he did it and Epic Games is invested Investigating Lisa, do screen grabs of a conversation really ha are are they enough proof? Do you think do you think that this is worthy of an investigation? Okay, I think the point is he is innocent until proven guilty, mm. but. Unfortunately, because there was that conversation with the cheat provider, it's in Epic's, you know, good, um, I guess, they, yeah, they should look into it. Like, they have to make sure, the especially community. since the World Cup is coming up yeah. and he's qualified and he's going to play in it, they mm -hmm. have to make sure he is legitimate or if they don't, then that's just bad. On part, yeah, so for sure. But he has a cheat code. But how can how can these cheat codes be applied in the World Cup when they're playing? Like, how can that be um, a possible thing? We've seen thing? this happen in many. Yeah, but you would think that they would have barriers in place by this point. You would think, this, but it's happened before. Marissa. I just I don't know because now he has an asterisk beside his name, unfortunately, with the whole scene with us now because we're talking about it, and it kind of feels bad for him, especially if he didn't do it. Like, I, if he if he's saying he didn't do it, like we kind of have to believe him at his word no, until no, he's no, proven no, guilty. No, no, no. Well, that's the thing, right? A lot of people obviously on the internet we know they go for the witch hunt thing and we're exactly. not condoning that at all on Twitter he said he didn't do it he's willing to like play and people can watch him yeah. to prove that he is good enough okay we get that but epic still needs to investigate this unfortunately the screenshots shows that he's talking to a cheap provider if you're there's gonna be you know there's smoke him. when there's fire is that the, is that the saying yeah, yeah where there's smoke there's fire. exactly so like he should not he should not have been caught in that position, you know. Yeah, but he, but he's saying it's not him. So what other? Not, what I know? No, 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 no. Like, I feel like in this space, and what? there's there's a lot of them. I must say, uh, a lot of snitches. And you know what they say about snitches, baby? Snitches get stitches. So. I suggest everybody just play their own dang game and not worry about what other people are doing because cheaters will get caught in the long run, okay? That's all I'm going to say. But we need these people. Do it. We need whistleblowers. We need people to bring attention to this because we've had situations where people turn a blind eye and that just negates the whole integrity of comp competition. So they we need will this. get caught, though. They, well, they will get caught eventually. We'll see, listen, if Dubs F and whatever his Twitter account is is innocent, it will come out, okay? So let's move on. Fine. Spicy topic. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the Rainbow Six Siege, Ubisoft's first person shooter ended its surprise Rainbow is Magic event last week. The event, done as part of an April Fool's joke, turned the realistic setting into what was essentially a kid's TV show. Hostages <laughs> turned into teddy bears, yeah. walls had unicorns drawn on them, and blood was replaced with stars. Mm. Players loved the event, but it also begged the question, why doesn't Ubisoft make modes like this more permanent? Uh, so, what do you think? Do you think they should have, I guess, these modes turn into permanent modes? Well, I mean, they did have the whole Blood Dragon thing uh, happen a while ago for Far Cry, and everybody loved that, and that was an actual version of a game. It was DLC content. I love this. I honestly think that this whole Rainbow and Sunshine Bright, Rainbow Bright <laughs> version of the Rainbow Six yeah. is such an amazing idea, so much so that I feel like this should be the new eSport. Let's let's whoa, let's whoa, whoa, whoa. sugarcoat it. Let's sugarcoat it with rainbows, lollipops, and sunshine, and then... And we can see, we can actually see Rainbow Six make its way to broadcast television because these broadcasters don't want to display. Why do you think Overwatch is the game that they're going to? Yeah, and because it's doing Overwatch, so well in numbers, the, right? I'm saying, right. this is what I'm saying, there could be better games out there like Rainbow Six no, that people no. could watch no, no, no. and families can watch and tune in no, 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 when no, there's no. all sunshine mm. and rainbow Turning bright and lollipops. Turning a game that is great and you know what, for mature We're not audiences, changing the game. you're making it about rainbows and butterflies it's when it's about terrorists and, and blood and shooting. It's like, you want to make a kid-friendly version of Mortal Kombat? Yeah, that's going to fly great with the audience. No, no. Well, that's impossible. It's different. That's what, well, that's the whole point. Right, like, don't change its essence. It's cool. I like the idea of having two modes. There's like yeah. a friendly 
kid mode that you know kids can play. They, and then there's like the real version of the game that originally fine. Was intended. And the friendly kid mode is what is available to watch on television, on ABC, no one's on watch TSN, that. on ESPN. They're not like going to show a game with unicorns and butterflies on they're, TSN. They're showing Overwatch though. They're showing Overwatch, so it has a pretty lovely cartoony no, but even vibe Overwatch to it. Overwatch has this guns and they're shooting and killing people. This is like, why or CS:GO. This is why CS:GO has not made its way to broadcast television. It is a superior esport. We all know it's true, but it hasn't made its way there because of the sure. guns, because of the terrorism, but it's because doing of the bombs. Fine. It's doing fine. Yes, but we they still have salt. They still get mad when they see Overwatch getting all this attention when it should be theirs. So Listen, why can't we use tell. a mode like this? Time will tell. Listen, Overwatch might be getting the spotlight now, but over time, the game that's better will sustain. Okay? So you know what? Let's not time. get jealous of Overwatch right now. Mm. I'm not jealous of Overwatch. <laughs> I'm trying to help Ubisoft and Rainbow Six shine brighter. Making kid friendly. Like a rainbow. What? Shut up. Over in Apex Legends land, it looks like Twitch viewers are turning away from the game in droves. The Battle Royale, which Twitch averaged 300,000 viewers during <laughs> February, is now struggling to break 40,000 viewers regularly. The reasons why are varied. Some say it's too buggy, some say there's not a lot to do, and some say the Battle Pass failed to keep things interesting. So, Lisa, as a resident Apex Legends player... That's funny, guys. That's right. <laughs> Who wrote that in is, the script? Is the game dying? <laughs> Uh, Marissa, the game died for me after I played four games and I sucked. Um, I, I mean, okay, we know we follow the trends of games. Every time yeah. there's a new game, it spikes up, and yeah. then unless the game can offer something that's very long lasting, it will die. Yeah. And I think Apex messed up with the Battle Pass. I think it's fair. Everyone's unhappy with it. They did not get the, rate, the read on their customers. They're, they messed hey, up Apex. It's okay, but the point is what you do now to redeem yourself. What can you offer that other games aren't just copying? You know, you see a lot of Fortnite they're picking up, you know, uh, elements yeah. of Apex now. So, what can you offer? Well, I feel like they already have a very strong game in sure. and of itself. That people, good gamers have sorted out the meta, they know the best characters to play, the mes best characters to roll out with, and the best way to win. So I feel like those people can actually make it a legitimate run and make it an eSport if that's what they want to do. But at the end of the day, it's all about the money. At the end of the day, all about the money. Two on your bingo boards right now. Uh, so I'm not sure how EA and Respawn are going to continue to make money off of this if people are dropping off in droves. I feel yeah. like they can continue this whole battle pass situation. They just need to spice it up and listen to their community. That's all. It's all about listening to the community, right? If you want the community to spend the dough, you've got to give them what they want. That's all. Listen to the community. I'm curious to why, you know, before Ninja was like huge on this game. Because he was paid a lot of money to play it. So he didn't actually enjoy it so this no. whole time he was just there for the money it's funny how like money can help you enjoy things okay oh. so uh, all, of, show now. All, <laughs> all of these players all of these influencers were given a lot of friggin dough to jump in and play and because of that all of their viewers jumped in and now play. they stopped playing and, it yeah but they stopped playing it because that's just what happens in life remember when everyone was obsessed with these fidget spinners do you oh remember God. that? I and never had a fidget spinner. I did. And I, and I honestly thought, oh my God, these are amazing. They're going to last forever. I actually thought that. I hate fidget spinners <laughs> so freaking much that I don't even want to hear from her. I'm not going to let her rant about that. Screw fidget spinners. I'm glad it's over. All right. Our last story of the day is about next generation consoles. But this isn't just some new rumor. Wired confirmed the first details on Sony's next gen console, which it is refusing to call the PlayStation 5. The console will feature upgraded hardware, back backwards compatibility and VR integration among other features. It's all, oh, it also won't come out in 2019, but perhaps for 2020? Well, you can expect more news about it sometimes next year. We have to wait. All right, so, you know, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, I believe, uh, well, I guess you can listen while I talk. No, no, uh, I'm unmuted. Oh, you're unmuted? Okay. Yeah, get ready. So they, I think it launched, what, 2013, those consoles? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's time for a new console, or is no. this just way too early? I do not think it's time for a new console. I'm oh. good. So are you. We've got a lot of different consoles and things and devices to play games on. We don't need any more. We're fine. Listen, all of this now is going to come down to downloadable content yeah. and what we can play on the devices that we already have, on the systems we already have, on the PCs we already have. We don't need any more of this. We just upgrade the systems that are already at Play. I don't like that we're filling landfills here, okay? We've already got our things, so why do we need to have more? They, they broadcast in 4K, everything looks beautiful and shiny and new on them. They can just do a software update on the actual hardware True. that we have. 
We don't need another friggin' thing to buy and wait in line. I don't want to spend another $500 on a console. Like, I'm done. We're good. We get it. Here's the thing, though. I feel I agree with you. I feel like a lot of the new features that they've described so far is kind of similar to what the PS4 or Xbox One, whatever, mm -hmm. already offers. However, what about the whole VR situation? I think a lot of people are moving towards VR, trying to integrate VR. We see that in eSports. We're seeing a lot of games come out that are VR. So they're going to integrate, hopefully, VR in the next PlayStation 5. Wait. Do you think... No, because you can already do PlayStation VR right now. Like, Brody, that's how he lives his life. Like, he's not even in reality anymore. His weekends are spent that's where in he VR. Is right now. I know. Surprise. <laughs> that's where Brody is living in VR. Uh, no, we, that's the thing. We don't need this. I get it. They need to make something new, something bright and shiny. They want to compete. Like, who has it better? Who's done it better? But we're, we're done. We're past that point now. The Switch, honestly, has now kind of opened my eyes to what we need and what we can use as gamers. And I feel like the next step for both of these guys, both Xbox and Sony, should be something that we can take with us. You know what because the we already is? have something that ties us at home. Just go to PC gaming. Okay. You know what I mean? Listen, PC yeah, gaming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Superior yeah, yeah. race, guys. But Superior I, race. Enough of this master race. BS, I get it. Yes, first person shooters are better on computer, yeah. on PC. I get it, okay, everybody? I'm still on my Xbox. Now, it's time to see what streamers are up to in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Clint, who thought of the perfect Tinder Ooh. alternative. Let me see this. <laughs> Uh, if anybody wants to help me with this idea, DM me on Twitter. I want to make a fake Tinder with anime girls instead of actual women. And you match with them, and we have a team of WoW role players that just fake like they're this anime girl. And depending on how much money you give the anime girl, she will send you more pictures, like if you hit the $300 tier, she sends you the swimsuit picture. Every single girl swipes right. <laughs> Clint, you dirty dog. Um, okay, uh, so do you think this is what the world needs? Tinder First of user, all, Lisa? Does Clint not look like a character from Malcolm in the Middle? You know what actor oh I'm my thinking God. about? There's an actor that looks exactly like him, but that aside. <laughs> um, is this the app the world needs? No! Uh, I mean, I don't know. Listen, I'm not into, you know, that life. I'm not into um, oh, just interacting God. with characters that aren't real or, or anime characters that aren't real. You don't watch anime. I, th I don't watch a lot of anime, no, but I, I can't imagine. Here? No, I know, but you can just cook up this scenario. What he's asking for really is a, is a video game where he dates anime characters, and I'm pretty sure that those are already out there. Uh, check your check your app store, people. I'm certain that there are some games out there, like dating plus, games. Perhaps. No, but there are <laughs> dating games out there that you can actually play as if they were Tinder. I'm sh I'm certain this has already been made. Marissa, are you telling me you've never had a crush on a cartoon character? You tell me oh you can't relate God, to this at all. Oh my God, 100 tuxedo mask. 100. There you go. Mask. It's the same idea. Imagine you can find him on an app and then you know get pictures of him daily. You feel like happy just looking at his picture. Okay. That's what these waifus are all about. Okay, but that's not real, you guys. I know it's not real, but it's a fantasy, just like how you have a crush on Nathan. Drake or whatever. It's the same idea. Tuxedo mask. All right. Well, <laughs> your taste is a little <laughs> questionable. Our next clip comes from Andy Milanakis, who was in Tokyo and met up with the familiar face. Pretty good, huh? Oh, that's awesome. Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> it's like you're going to unzip your table, huh? <laughs> Just like the way you unzip your <laughs> pants, huh? <laughs> 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 unzip your table, <laughs> just like how you unzip your pants. <laughs> Chad, I'm gonna. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, Chad, I can't. <laughs> Not like this. Not like you this. Like You're Tom dying. Green. Why are you? Is that I, funny to you? Yo, I sort of love Tom Green, like Canadian icon right there. What he is movie? all kinds of funny. Let, oh my God, Lisa. What You're is the this? worst. What? Listen. Name a movie. What? Name a, one Name of his a best movie. movies. Um, I don't know. That's what, what I thought. Yeah. I'm sorry, what's the movie where it's like, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Freddie, would you, Freddie got fingered? Okay. He's like, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Anyway, there's so Hilarious. many. Hilarious. <laughs> Listen, Tom Green is a Canadian icon. He's a funny man. That that stuff is really funny. Like, he always, he used to have a TV show, too, in Canada, where mm -hmm. he would just go around making people feel uncomfortable. And it's the same idea as, as Twitch IRL. I do that all the time. Why don't people laugh saying, when I do it? But he did it first. All these, <laughs> things, it first. all these things 
memes are memeing. Now he did before memes were a thing. That did make he, me uncomfortable. No, that's what I'm yeah. saying. He did all of this first. So he deserves all the accolades, all the credit for everything we find funny in this world. Tom Green did it. Is he all on right? YouTube? Does he have a YouTube channel? Doing I don't pranks know what he's doing. What are you doing, doing buddy? You You're missing out. No, no, he's on Twitter. He DM'd me once. What? What are you what? saying? What it happened? Was, it was PG. Yeah, let's see the Twitter now. This is by on the pros and not so pros. Like on again, off again. Noted stain on Blizzard's hands and fellow Canadian XQC. Karma can nip you in the small ways over time. I hope you enjoy your descent into madness, you evil, evil boy. He says, went to an Italian restaurant and ordered a steak. Didn't eat all day, but I was so on edge of puking that I went home before getting it. They put it in a box. After two hours, I finally built up the courage to get up and eat. I open the box, and it's effing stranger's spaghetti. Kill me. First Aww. of all, is that what you think he sounds like? That's his voice that you imitate him in? Poor little muffin. Listen, them eye ties will get ya. <laughs> No, that's karma. That's karma, Kramer. That's full on karma. Oh, that's, that's, what you get. that's what you get. What? I didn't get it. I don't watch Seinfeld. What do you want from me? What are you talking about? I'm talking about karma. XQC is kind of a terrible person. Yeah. He does terrible things um, sometimes. First of all, what? I love spaghetti. I would be happy it's to open the box. Someone else's spaghetti. Someone else had been eating that spaghetti oh, in his box. I was on a fresh one. No. I'd still eat it. Oh my God! Li ha you, have you ever eaten someone else's food? Seriously? Have I ever eaten someone else's food? Yeah, someone else's food. I that's already started. I do fries sometimes when you know. I'm that fries is different. Oh. Fries is a di different than a plate of pasta. Have I ever eaten? No, I haven't eaten someone else's food. I think. Yeah. How would I know? She's lying right now. Uh, no. Where's the lie? Where's the lie button? Uh, what? I don't know. I wouldn't mind some spaghetti. To be fair. <laughs> All right. Next up, Melee Pro Hungry Box is living in the moment. Hmm. Aww. <laughs> It's that time of year again. Homer being Homer, not in on the thing everyone's talking about. <laughs> Classic. Uh, Marissa, yeah. this might be the question that like breaks our friendship. Oh, what? Are you in on it? OK, here's the thing. I am in on it. I am 100 in on it, but I have not seen <gasps> Sunday's episode yet. Marissa! So don't spoil. I know. I know. Marissa, me too. I know. Oh. Hashtag me too. <laughs> No spoilers, guys. If you guys put a spoiler in there, I'm banning you right yeah, now. Yeah, seriously. Don't yeah, don't ruin it for the rest of the class. I don't like when people post spoilers. I did mute no. a bunch of stuff on Twitter just to make sure that I wouldn't oh, wow. get any spoilers. There's still been some. I like I know Don't! I, it's say fine. it. I won't say it. I it's not that spoilery, but I won't say it. Never mind. Just move it on. Our last profound thought is a message from FGC long-standing member Katana Prime in response to Tweety, another NRS player who has since deleted his tweet where he accused Sonic Ooh. Fox of buying certain member spots into Summit. This is something that players have to campaign their way into. Okay, so KP, who is one of the names that Tweety dropped, released a video message. I'm not on the Summit team then. Did I complain? Nah, we ain't doing that. We just gonna work hard and get to where we trying to go. You know what I'm saying? When there's a problem, or somebody gets something that I wanted, I don't complain. I congratulate and I work. Now, I'm not taking away from the things you've done, but to sit here and act as if you on some holy grail way up here and, and you ain't humble enough to understand that other people working too? Chill. Now you trying to hate and take away votes from people because, because what? Because they don't deserve it? Stop crying every time something don't go your way, man. Talking about you playing dirty. I don't got nothing to do with none of this. We just campaigning. it. Mm, yo, yeah, mm. Tweety was hit pretty hard by the collective community after he tweeted that. Mm. Basically, like, he put on a bunch of people on blast because with the way Summit works is that you have to purchase something from the Smash GG website. Every dollar you spend is basically mm. a vote for yourself to get into Summit. So I'm not really a fan of this type of tournament where you have to actually pay technically to get in. And if because if players have money, technically they can yeah. buy whatever they want and get themselves in. But yes, KP is right. You shouldn't salt on others for trying to get in themselves. Like, what is the actual problem here? Just work on your own grind, Honestly, dude. I feel kind of bad. I kind of get where Tweety is coming from. Because if you look at it from his perspective, like, obviously he's doing the same thing. He's grinding. He's competing. But he's not as big. I want to say I've never heard of this player before. Mm. So, like, he's not as big as all the other players. And if he sees all these other players becoming friends with Sonic Fox and using that connection, and Sonic is actually, not, I don't know if it's proven, but, like, mm. buying votes for people, mm. that would feel bad as a player. And if he's calling out an injustice that he sees, he should. 
you I know like what I mean? You did their injustice with the NRS right. thing. Oh, oh. plan words. Uh, <laughs> no, that's that's fine. I completely agree with you. Yes, there should be some empathy there for him, yeah. but I lose my empathy when he starts. Again, snitches get stitches, yo. Just remember that. Like you, just focus on yourself. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't call them out on their BS if you think there is some. Be listen. Karma will come and get them. Don't worry. You work on yourself, on your own game. Just turn up, show up, do the best that you can do, and yeah. that's all you can really worry about is just you. Like, don't worry about other people in their other space. Like, do don't, you, man? Don't publicly do it. If you have a shit up concerns, message the organizer. You know what? Do something. Be smart but about it. But that's still snitching. That's not snitching. That's, that's not a concern. Marissa! No, that's That's the end man. of this one. Okay, you guys fine. let us know in chat what mm. you guys think because it's time to turn it up with some crowd control. Mm. This is where we show you the best memes or stuff floating around the internet. This first one was tweeted out by musician mm. Lil Nas X. You may have heard of him because he recently <laughs> blew up with his remix of Old Town Road. But now it seems like he's actually collaborating with Animal Crossing. Era, era. Animal Crossing. You see that move? Uh, she was she's, going in. She's she spice. was going in. She's spice. Um, so that was a little unexpected, but I didn't hate it, surprisingly. Oh. So I wanted to know, were there are there any other game collaborations that you were either pleasantly surprised by or kind of hated? Uh, no. no, I can't. I mean, yeah, I guess I was surprised by the PUBG and Suicide Squad thing. I that think was everyone so was. weird. That was so weird. I'm like, okay, there, there's things that some things that happen when it comes to like money, when you can tell that like uh, they only did this because of money, yeah. and there's no real reason for it other than money. Uh, you're really, I'm not into Cash it. Grab. If you're giving, if you're giving fans fan service, yeah. like I mean, I like what Fortnite did with Marvel. Like, yeah, there was money involved in that too, but sure. Marvel is still popping. The sure. whole Thanos thing, like that was fun. It was a fun little surprise for people to get in game. So That's true. things like that are cool. The PUBG, yeah, I didn't get that at all. I publicly no. tweeted about it. I'm not sure if I upset Player Unknown, but I just like <laughs> really was not into it at all. You know, I'm really excited for the whole recent news about like Drake and well the weekend more recently oh. joining like sponsoring a team right splice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm ready for some like hot tracks to drop. Like I'm waiting for a song. Ah, An esports album. I don't know oh, if that she'll do like that. A horrible I'm, idea. I'm not yeah, yeah I'm not sure if that's I said it out loud and I didn't like it. I, I should have muted her before she spoke. Next up we have a clip posted by underscore L S seven underscore depicting the ep epitome of bad timing. All right, let's see this. All right, let's see here. Okay. What else you got here? Play oh, on. he's got it! Oh! No! <laughs> Controller! Disc <sighs> Rip, a dip. Okay, so Lisa, your biggest fail in game? Um, my biggest fail in game, like rip moment, rip moment, Not like okay. this moment. This was, I think, I was actually streaming during this moment, so it's kind of the record is out there. Oh god! Uh, so I was playing a league game, uh -huh. and you know how there's always patches. So they, yeah. this was when Redemption was a new item, and they just released it. And if you, don't, for those who don't know what Redemption is, it's basically an item that you can, it puts a circle on the ground when you activate it, and anyone if, inside that circle yeah. gets healed if it's your ally. Okay. Okay. So I heard about this item, but I didn't know what it looked like. So I was playing a game, and all of a sudden I saw a circle appear, right? And I was just like, oh my god, what is this? Is this an ability? And I flashed out of it, so I used another ability to get out of it. Oh, Lisa. And so I missed the heal, and everyone laughed at me. Because oh, I, geez. yeah, that was really embarrassing. No. You know, but. And you can't do that instead of like League because your whole team is going to solve. And I flash. It's really bad to use a flash to get. Um, Lisa, rip. And that was she's the not, end of my no pro. legitimacy no pro. in League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that no was kidding. the end of my career there. <laughs> Shut it down. Yeah, shut it down. Um, it's time to wrap it up with a super cool game created by comic artist Abel Alves. I hope Ooh. I said that right. Once again, Game of Thrones final season is here, baby. So let's check out this 8-bit game inspired by the popular franchise. Yay. This is really cool. Look at this. Okay. okay. So he's, this is like epic beginning. <gasps> it's an eight Do you hear the song? The classic. Stage one to the wall. I love this. Let me say something. Tyrion, for those who don't know, oh, you know nothing, Jon Snow. Did I get it? Uh, that was all right. right. If I don't Can look better. Okay, look at that! Oh my gosh! <gasps> There's yes, a wall! The oh no, he, he wouldn't... No, okay. that's, just, that's, no, that's his dire wall. wall. Okay, okay, It just okay. floated <laughs> over the, yeah. the he, platform, but let's not look at that. He doesn't need to jump. <laughs> Jon oh. Snow! 
I would just play this to get this wonderful 8-bit version right? of the song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> Yo. This is so cute. Is that not You know perfect? what's funny is that Jon Snow actually knows everything. He knows everything. Are you trying? Is that a spoiler? No, no, no. I don't I remember. I didn't see the... I did not see... Marissa, the last I'm very episode. sensitive about this. No, 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 it's not a spoiler. I, I don't actually know if Jon Snow knows anything. <laughs> if he knows everything. But I just feel like, to me, in my mind, in my mind's eye, Jon Snow knows all. Also, like, sad, I did meet him in person once. He's a lot shorter than I thought. Aww. I know. Are like, you sure? Are you height shaming again? Because I'm going to do that Tinder height verification thing. No, it's okay. Aww. I'm just kidding. They, well, he's married. I'm just, just You're saying. You're married. Can we? Yeah, what? yeah. What? That was fun. <laughs> uh, okay. Jon Snow, listen, that's all for today. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. You can always hit us up on our socials. Use the explanation point socials right now to get them. Yeah. And here's up there. Bye! Bye, guys.